Leviticus 14, 52 and 53. He shall purify the house with the bird's blood, 53, and it will be clean. Do you think God is telling us to use the bird's blood to clean our houses? Should we start buying bird's blood instead of detergents? Do you still believe these are words of God? Numbers 5, 12 to 31. This one is too long, you can just pause the video and read it yourself. It says that if a man doubts his wife and he wants to know if she is faithful to him or not, he should take her to a priest. Then the priest shall take some holy water and put some dust in it and then tell her that if she was faithful to her husband, this water will not harm her. But if she cheated on her husband, this water will bring a curse on her. May this water bring a curse enter your body so that your abdomen swells or your womb miscarries. The problem is I think dirty water with dust most likely will hurt her stomach, whether she was faithful or not. Do you still believe that these are words of God? Genesis 2, 2 and 3 By the seventh day, God has finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Rested. The God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. Do you really think that God was tired after working six days he needed to rest? Is this the image of God you are worshipping? A God who gets tired and needs to rest? Do you still believe these are words of God? I wouldn't be surprised if they wrote God needed to drink coffee on the sixth day or something. Genesis 32, 28, the man said, From now on, your name will no longer be Jacob. You will be called Israel, because you have wrestled with God and with men, and you have won. This verse describes a very amusing wrestling round. Jacob versus God. Who do you think will win? Exactly. Of course Jacob won the fight against God. Maybe because God was tired from creating the heavens and the earth and he needed rest. That's why he lost against Jacob. Do you still believe these are words of God? Luke 3, 23. Now Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. He was the son, so it was thought, of Joseph, the son of Heli. Matthew 1, 16. And Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, and Mary was the mother of Jesus, who is called the Messiah. Did you notice something strange here? Who was the father of Joseph exactly? Luke says it's Heli, but Matthew says it's Jacob. These are two pages in the Bible, and one of them at least is a lie. Which one is it? Acts 1.18 With the payment he received for his wickedness, Judas bought a field. There he fell headlong, his body burst open, and all of his intestines spilled out. What a shameful death. Matthew 27, 5 So Judas threw the money into the temple and left, then he went away and hanged himself. Did you notice something strange here? How did Judas die exactly? Acts says he fell headlong, his body burst open, and all his intestines spilled out. But Matthew says he hanged himself. One of them at least is a lie. Or maybe both. Who knows? 2 Kings 24, 8 Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem three months. 2 Chronicles 36, 8 Jehoiakim was 8 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem three months and ten days. Did you notice something strange here? I think you did. How much time did he reign in Jerusalem? 2 Kings says he reigned three months. 2 Chronicles says he reigned 3 months and 10 days. Which one is it? And how old was he when he became king? 2 Kings says he was 18 years old when he became king, but 2 Chronicles says he was 8 years old when he became king. One of them at least is a lie. Maybe both. Who knows? Genesis 1, 3-16 And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. He called the light day, and the darkness he called night. This is the first day. Remember that. Number 16. God made two great lights. 
the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. The fourth day. So God created light and day and night in the first day. Then God created the sun and the moon and the stars in the fourth day. Don't you think that they should have been the opposite? How were their light and day and night before creating the sun and the moon and the stars? Do you still believe these are words of God? 2 Kings 8 26 Ahaziah was 22 years old when he became king. 2 Chronicles 22 2 40 and 2 years old was Ahaziah when he became to reign. Did you notice something? How old was Ahaziah when he became king? 2 Kings says he was 22 years old, but 2 Chronicles says he was 42 years old. Which one is it? And if you check the evolution of the Bible over the years, they keep changing verses in it. They keep modifying and removing information and adding information. If you check this exact verse, 2 Chronicles 22, see how many times it was changed. And sometimes they say it is 42 years old and sometimes 22, based on their whims and what they want you to believe in when you read the next version. So if the final version of the Bible we are reading right now was being changed and manipulated over the years by men, how can we consider it God's words?